Hello and welcome to the CS Cards video tutorial. My name is Alexander and today we finish our tour around general settings of CS Card. Let's begin. In the previous video we spoke about catalog settings and promotions. Today we are going to speak about users and card settings. Also we are going to cover proxy server settings and search options. The first setting of today's video is allow users to create multiple profiles for one account. In other words, add more than one shipping and billing addresses. Thanks to this feature, one user can have multiple profiles. For example, one for personal orders and the other for job supplies. Let's move on. The next two settings are connected to each other. The first one determines the minimum amount allowed for the order to be placed. And the second one defines how this amount is counted, with or without shipping. So, for example, if the minimum amount is 100, Customers will have to buy products that cost more than 100 in total. Allow shopping for unlocked customers. It's the next setting. Here we have three clear options. Allow, hide the add to cart button and hide price and the add to cart button. Now let's see how the most extreme option works. So, we visit the store as an unlocked customer and decide to buy something. Open the products page and see neither price nor the add to cart button. Since we are unlocked, we cannot buy anything from this store. The next setting is called Allow Checkout only from the cart content page. With this setting enabled, customers will be able to proceed to checkout only through visiting a cart page. Let's continue our trip. Allow customer to sign up for a user group. In the admin panel, administrators can create different types of user groups. This is a convenient tool for distributing privileges among customers. So, why don't you allow your customers to use these privileges? The access to user groups for customers is available in their profile under the User Groups tab. Remember, the administrators should approve new user group requests. What's next? Administrator must activate new user accounts. If this is enabled, new customers will have to wait until their account is approved by one of the administrators. Only after that they will be able to use all privileges and features available for registered customers. Quick Registration Setting Quick registration requires only contact information during the registration procedure. Estimate shipping cost for the cart page. If enabled, it shows how much the delivery will cost at a cart page before the customer proceeds to the checkout. The last setting here is Disregard product options when calculating quantity discounts. First of all, quantity discounts are related to the amount of products that a customer buys. Now let's see how it works in both cases. We go to the storefront and choose a product with options. We keep in mind that the setting is disabled and quantity discount works only when we buy 5 or more products. Thus, when we order, for example, 3 black pants and 3 white pants, the discount does not apply. In this case, we need either 5 black pants or 5 white pants to get a discount. Let's enable the setting. Then again we add 3 black pants and 3 white pants to the cart. And at the checkout, we can see that the discount has been applied. That's because now all options are regarded as the same product. Ok, let's proceed to the next section. Proxy server for outgoing connections. If your store works under a proxy server, specify your connection details here. Search options. Search also in pages. If you enable this setting, the search will also be conducted in pages and site news. That's all about general settings. If you have any questions, you can ask them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next CSCART video tutorials.